Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your May 2018 reading. This is generally a love reading, so we'll see whatever comes up. I am going to get one of these oracle cards and one of these, and I am going to reveal it at the end. Unless it decides to flip over and give you its advice at the beginning. So I'd like you to take only what resonates, leave the rest. Because there's no way I can read everybody's exact situation. It's just not feasible, okay? You're not sitting in front of me, alright? So, this may resonate 100%, may resonate 10%. Take what resonates and leave the rest. There's one. This is for the sign of Libra. What do you have for the sign of Libra for the month of, month of May? The month of May. And there it is. Libra. This is for the sign of Libra, May 2018. This is for the sign of Libra. What does Libra need to know? A lot of worry. There's a lot of worry and stress, anxiety, sadness. You know, maybe it's time for you to take the next step. Maybe it's time for change. Maybe you need to let something go, Libra. Something needs to change. Okay? And maybe it's really, you need to find your balance. And maybe that's what you're trying to do. Maybe you're trying to find your balance, but there's a lot of ups and downs. Okay? Um... <laughs> Yeah, you're probably not feeling, you know, you may be feeling upset. I mean, I'm sorry to tell you, but this is you in reverse, okay? You may be feeling a little lonely, angry, upset. Maybe you're feeling bitter about how something ended. That could, I mean, we all go there. Every single sign. So it doesn't matter, okay? This is an energy. We all get bitter over things that don't turn out so it's not just you so don't take it like that I'm saying that it is okay but someone's trying to control destiny and, they're, and they can't they can't okay you know we've all tried to control our own destiny too but we can't even though we can control different aspects of our lives you know and we have free will if it isn't meant to be it isn't meant to be you can't make something meant to be that isn't meant to be and there's something that you may be wanting to control because the wheel of fortune in reverse is clinging to control that's what it means so somebody is trying to control the future path when it's out of their control you're dealing you got to stop playing this game because all it's doing is making you sick it's causing you a lot of stress It's time for you to <sighs> this is about making progress so maybe you are making progress maybe you're making progress and letting go maybe you're making progress and taking the next step but this is also about self-respect and doing the noble thing doing the right thing Look at that, two of cups. 
Is there a new, because this is a new partnership as well. There could be a new partnership on the horizon, Libra. There could be. There could be a new partnership on the horizon if you let somebody in and you don't let anger and bitterness hold you back. Okay? This right here is moving away from a situation. This is about, this is a six of swords. This is a time of transition for you. You guys are making progress. There's no doubt about it. You're transitioning from one phase to another. Although you're still clinging to an element of control. You're still trying to control the outcomes. And, you know, we can't always control the outcome. We can't. Sometimes we have to take risks. So I feel like you guys have to make a decision here. Because twos are about decisions. They're about choices. To accept a change. Okay, maybe there's a, a new partner on the horizon that you could have a lot of have victory with have success with if you're open to it I feel like you may not be though with this with you being in reverse here you may not be open to this new partnership okay I you may not you may feel like this person's all talk um, you may feel like you can't trust them. You may feel like they're out of balance, that they they can't bring you harmony. You, you know, there's a lack of balance and a lack of harmony here. And whether that's you or the other person, I think there's lack of harmony in a relationship, in your love life, and although you've been making progress, you're still clinging to some element of control. You are transitioning out of it, but we have extremes here, back and forth, back and forth. The temperance in reverse is extremes, so you probably go to extremes, okay? One minute, you're probably good and ready to move on. The next minute, you're right back where you were at. And I feel that's brought a lot of conflicts to your life. You may be observing your past partner and it makes you angry to see that they're in another relationship. Because, I mean, that's... That. I mean, come on now. That could certainly be the case. You could be really upset. You could, and, and anger is maybe the wrong word. Maybe you're bitter. Maybe you're upset. Maybe you're overly emotional because of it. You know, this could be observation via social media or whatever. But I feel like, you know, you're dealing with somebody who has brought a lot of uh, disharmony to your life. Disharmony. And it's hurt you in a big way and you haven't quite let it go yet, but you're making a lot of progress. I feel like, like I said, this is extremes. You go to extremes. One minute you're you're ready to move forward and take the next step, and the next minute you're right back where you were at, hurting again and feeling upset about how this hasn't turned out in your favor. Some of you are not able to accept this truth fully. Okay, you're not. I mean, that's what the Ace of Swords reversed means. Somebody is not really using their power to cut the cord. They're not really accepting the truth. They really don't want to hear the truth. They're in denial with this Ace of Swords reversed. So, you know, whoever you're dealing, whoever this person is you're thinking about, there's probably not any communication or significant communication with this person. And although you are making progress in this situation, you're st I think you're still observing them. You're still wanting them. You haven't quite let them go. You're still trying to... You're still thinking this may be destined, but I don't think it is. Yeah, I think you're probably very overly emotional at this time. I do. I think that you're probably... You know, feeling emotional about this. Every time you look at this person, you know, on social media, or you look at this person he's dating or she's dating, you know, you look at the other person's new person, you know, it breaks your heart. And I feel like, you know, you, you probably have a new opportunity, probably with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but you may not be able to let them in fully because you're still being held back by somebody in your past. I do feel like you have a new opportunity in love, and this is a test. Are you ready? Are you ready for this new love? Can you let them in? Can you let them love you? Whoever you're dealing with is probably telling you the truth, and they want you to give it a chance. 
but I feel like you probably have your guard up and you're not quite ready to step outside of your comfort zone because whoever this person is in the past that you are still hurting over is still on your mind and in your heart. So I feel you may be blocking this other person from coming into your life because you may not be open to letting them in fully. I think that you are blocking them. I do. You may not be communicating effectively with this new person because you're not completely healed over the last one. You may be stalling this other person because you're not quite ready. I feel like you guys are being called to stand up for yourselves. You're just being called to... Invest your time. Invest in this new beginning with whoever this new person is. Don't think it's going to end in disaster. I think you're really afraid that if you invest, this will only end in disaster anyway. Don't let your fears hold you back. I feel like if you... You know, hard work pays off. I feel like if you put in effort into this new beginning and you give this new person a chance that it might work out. You do have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You also have uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um... I feel like you have a new opportunity in love and you are being called to hold your head up high. Have confidence and encourage. I would say that you should go for it. But you may not have the confidence and courage. But you're being called to. You're indecisive. You have two choices. You're you have you do. You're at a stalemate. You're sitting on the fence. Should I move on or not? I think this is really painful. You're going through some, a painful decision. Do I really, really let this person go that I thought was my destiny? Or do I move forward on this new path and hope for the best? This is also denial. So you may be in denial over a situation. Somebody doesn't want to see the truth, and that and this can mean the same thing. So maybe you don't really want to accept the truth of a situation. I don't know. I think you're being torn between two relationships. The old and the new. And I feel like there's one contract that needs to end. It's over. You deserve better. You have to reject one of them. You have to make a decision. There is a choice between two people here. It's a painful choice, isn't it? I think that you're in unable to see the truth. You've probably blocked your emotions for a long time now. And you probably don't even know what you're worth. This is about going for what you deserve. You deserve love. And whoever... There's a person in this dynamic that isn't loving you like you deserve to be loved. So I feel like you are going to, this is a rejection of an offer. This one is too. I think that you are going to reject an offer perhaps this month. Because you may be feeling too insecure. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, unable to move on, perhaps, from this person or somebody that was very stable and secure that you were attached to. Unable to start anew. So I feel like there is a choice between two people, Libra, an old and a new, and this is a month where you have to make a decision And accept the reality. 
You have to accept the true reality and stop letting illusion cloud your thoughts. Accept the reality of a situation. See the situation clearly. I feel like there's uh, someone wants to establish a relationship with you and you lack the faith to do it. You lack the faith. You're unable to commit because you're committed to somebody else. But there's a feeling of unhappiness here and sadness. You have to let something end, Libra. You have to let something end. You have to let it go. You're resisting a new beginning. There's a major new beginning waiting for you. It's waiting for you, Libra. Let this cycle end and go down the new path. But I'm not sure you will. There's a cycle, 10 and 21. There's a cycle that needs to end. And this cycle has been really hurting you and making you sad and upset. And you haven't learned the karmic lesson yet. You still, you refuse. Somebody is refusing to learn the lesson. You will continue to suffer until you do. You can't control destiny. You can't. Control it. It's out of your control. You can't change fate. Something is over and you need to move on. I'm sorry. I know you've made a lot of progress. I do. But if this is what the message is, it is what it is. You have an opportunity for something new. Go for it. Turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experienced love. Let yourself be loved. Again. Patience. Patience. Take your time. You don't have to rush into anything. Go slow. Allow this person in slowly. And if they stay, then they're the right one. If they can't move slow, then they aren't the right one. So Libra, this is what I have for May. I think that you should, you should open your heart. Talk to you later.